I mean, I've been going for that dunk for about a year now, and it's just always rimmed out. And when I finally threw it down, it just felt good, you know. I just still heated a moment, I know. It's got hype, and I, I jumped a couple inches higher. First time you uh, throw in a game? Yes. Yeah. Now, David uh, ended up as a player of the game honors. Uh, it looked like Chris uh, Baldwin was a little bit more engaged today. Oh. He was a little bit more aggressive on the offensive glass, so you had a tough task. It's been tough for you guys without K1. Yeah. Uh, how are you able to be so effective on the offensive glass? Get the oh, last well, well, just boxing him out. Um, let, uh, let other people just um, get the rebound instead of me getting it. Just boxing him out, make sure he don't get the rebound at all. So he won't have to be, he, make sure that he won't have to put it back, put it on somebody's head or something like that. So make sure to box him out good. In the third quarter, it seemed like you guys, you guys ran away with it 26 to 11 in that quarter. Uh, you guys didn't really play well in the first half. Do you think you guys just wore him down uh, in that third quarter? Yeah, we kind of picked it up. Um, Coach was talking to us. He was telling us, um, you got to pick it up, man. Um, he know he know we're, we're better than that as a team, and we can just play together. You know, he's seen us um, best ball play. So we just had to pick it up, and we came together, and that's what happened. You guys are talking about Chris Baldwin, and I know you guys are a team that really likes to run and run a lot. How important was it, especially with this game, with him, it seemed like he had a little trouble getting up and down the court with you guys. You guys had three on ones, three on twos, things like that. Yeah. You know, we knew Chris coming in the game, he didn't like to run up and down the court. And if he was gonna run up and down the court, he was gonna get him he was gonna get him fatigued. So coach switched to the, our fifty five man full court man defense and it kinda wore them down a little bit going into the fourth and that's when we took control. What's with the layup issue? You guys are missing a lot of easy buckets in transition. I know that you know John John and Dizelle they throw their bodies around a lot of acrobatic shots and why are they not falling? Is it is just something I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're not getting ahead in the game or something like that. But um, we, um, I think it's really just, really just that they made, they just got to get their mind together. That's all it is. This is a mental thing. And they finally got together and they pulled it in. I mean, 12 first half turnovers, that's really rare for yeah, a Putnam team. It, really it seemed like, and you guys weren't passing well in transition. Like, a lot of passes behind, a lot of passes ahead. Were you just a little hype because of the game? Yeah we, yeah, we were a bit jittery because of the game because we knew there was going to be a lot of fans and a lot of media and stuff. So, you know, we were like hopping around and stuff like that. And um, some of the passes got behind us and we couldn't, we weren't able to corral them in the first half and it got away from us. For somebody who doesn't live in this, in this uh, Springfield area, what does this game mean for you guys, you know, going up against them? You know, what's the rivalry like between these two schools? Oh, the rivalry is tough. It's, it's real tough. We, we don't like Central and I'm sure they don't like us. And um, we'll see them again later in the season and um, that'll probably be more an intense, more an intense game because they'll have to make the playoffs and stuff like that. But whenever it's a Putnam Central game, everybody's talking about it. As you can see, the fans come out to support. You know, we just love it. There's there's um, talent in Western Mass, and people just come out and, and support us. Yeah, what is, does Diesel Wright mean to you guys as, as the floor general, as uh, someone who, who kind of controls a lot of things? Like he never seems never seems really flustered. Never really seen. It seems like he's even killed. What does he mean to you guys? Oh, it means everything. Um, he's the one that gets on the glass. Um, does everything. Um, he's on the glass. He does offensive, defensive. Can block shots. Run on the court. Put it down on your head if he if he actually get a chance to. So he he really means a lot to us. He's he's our energizer bunny. You know he gets us he gets us hype. You know before when we come out and um when we're coming through the tunnel and stuff like that he gets us hype. And then Dizel, he just just does it all. He like he does everything. How important was your three two? defense today um, it seemed like it really kept the ball out of Baldwin's hands in the half court and it really you know they settled for a lot of stuff on the outside and it really allowed you guys to get those long rebounds and really push the ball like you probably wanted yeah. to. Coming into the game we knew they had two shooters um, Isaiah and TJ or Tyrone however you want to pronounce it but we knew they had two shooters so if we were able to key in on those two and, and Chris couldn't get the ball in a 3-2 then we were able to stop some of what they wanted to do offensively. Oh, and just tell him the same. Um, Chucky Baldwin out the middle. Make sure that he don't he doesn't get all. Cause we know the one on one matchup. He way bigger than all of us. So we just try to keep him out the middle, and that's what the three two did. Make sure to keep him on the outside. Then if you try to lob it over us, we just tap it out and then eventually get on the run.